All right, everyone, please make your way back to your seats for our next talk. So common question that uh, we sometimes get from the BD team is, who maintains some of the near dev tooling? Well, thankfully, we have Vlad here to give a quick presentation on how they do it and who does it. So please welcome from Ukraine and also a uh, quick fun fact about Vlad is that he's really healthy. He walks five kilometers a day. So please welcome Vlad. Happy New Year, Khan. By the way, not five, but 45, which is a bit of a different, but I mean, yeah, I, I'll take it for you know, <laughs> good healthy mentor, uh, metric. Yeah, so I'm happy today to be on the stage, and I think it's very important to talk about the tools because that is a part of uh, our day-to-day -day developers' lives, how it makes the, you know, the technology we experience day-to-day -day is so much joy. Uh, so a little bit, uh, a bit about myself. Uh, I'm Vlad, aka Frol. You can see me on many channels. A lot of people somehow know me. I don't know how it happens. Uh, I'm co-founder of DevHub. Uh, I, jo I, I think I uh, authored and maintained and or contributed to almost all near tooling uh, in um, yeah since day one basically. Uh, because I joined Nier uh, in early 2019, where they just, it all just started. Um, and yeah, the meme is, I use Arch, by the way, and I love Nier and Rust. So this is where we start. Um, I often see, uh, hear a lot of misconceptions about developers and who they are, what, like, uh, especially from like those who want to uh, bring value, but they just don't understand us, you know, developers. Uh, we are very different, and I want, uh, like, I then at a certain point I was like, okay, probably I need just to tell people how to understand us developers. And that's how I created this uh, interactive mind map. This is the, just represent, like, uh, snapshot of it. You can follow the link. Uh, I'll have slides uh, posted on uh, all our DevHub channels after the call, after the talk. Uh, but I want to walk you through at least a little bit uh, into this uh, uh, area. So, well, we are all on the same page and we understand. Because even some developers do not really realize how different some of the groups of developers are. Um, so, and starting from uh, from here uh, with app developers on the left uh, in my diagram. These are um, developers who are the majority, I believe, in, in, like, in developer space. They uh, build business apps for regular users of the internet. Uh, they value speed of development over correctness uh, in a certain ten sense because they need to ship fast, they need to uh, please their users. And this is a, a very fundamental trade-off um, compared to the other type of de developers that I identify as platform developers. Uh, because platform developers, um, um, they value correctness, especially like 100% verifiable correctness, or like developer tools, experience um, that uh, like other developers will use. Uh, over just speed of development uh, per se, they just love to you know polish it till very last bit of uh, beauty of code. Um, they de they deliver to developers as, oppo uh, is, as opposed to app developers, uh, and they usually tend to require more like deep tech uh, understanding of stuff. So it's um, they I feel like they are uh, like just different universes at least in my head, and. Uh, the, in, in, in between of those, there is uh, um, the platform enablers uh, group, which are usually tech geeks uh, or just uh, folks who love to live on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, they love to brag about tech. They uh, like we we love it, uh, and uh, the important part 
of and the role of platform enablers is that they they position they are positioned uniquely because platform developers just to inside to you about folks if you didn't know they they don't really into onboarding other folks into their tech they just love to build their beautiful kit they ex they think that everybody else will understand it just by reading it that's not the case. Uh, and we need platform enablers to actually tell the world how like, that those like, uh, projects are great, how the tech is cool. And uh, it's DevRel, it's just regular users who are like, maybe not even technical, but they, they just see how like, exciting uh, the technology, how other people are excited about the technology. So this is like different types of audiences, right? Uh, and just examples of those platforms that I want to highlight uh, from like what I, what I see is happening as like also like they pro productionalize the uh, platform enablers uh, role a little bit. Uh, Jutsu AI, I'm sure you've heard about them during this uh, Nearcon already. Um, there is Agar app. I think you might have not heard about them just yet because I really received all this. Uh, like information just yesterday. So we are launching, we're shipping as we go. Uh, so they created this cool course on the SDK GS uh, and how to use it. That's awesome, I believe. Uh, and it all started on DevHub, and this is where I will like connect it uh, just in a bit. Uh, so um, one important thing that I want to re-emphasize re on like app developers, platform enablers, and platform uh, developers is that I personally started as app developer, then I joined Nier as platform developer, and now I'm mostly, I feel like I'm mostly a platform enabler. Uh, so it's not set in stone. You, you, you can shift and, uh, as, as you like, as you wish, and navigate the space. But uh, you, we, we need to understand the needs. We need to understand the, what, what, we, what we actually um, um, know about the, uh, those folks and what we want, what, what, the, what they need, what, what they need and what they can bring to us uh, to the, as a community. And uh, this is near DevHub, obviously, um, being the co-founder, I, I wanted to brag a bit about, about it. But I, I, th I think it's shared space. The, the important piece is that like, it, it, it's not designed to be top-down. It is designed to be the support for the whole ecosystem. So DevHub is just a um, the shared resource. Uh, and it is, uh, we talked about it a, a bit during the uh, DevHub panel today, that it's, uh, uh, it's important to know, to, to, to take ownership of things as a community in order to grow and really shine. Uh, that's what I see among uh, many DevOps contributors these days. They start to take more ownership and responsibility and just ship uh, more and more uh, on a daily basis. Um, um, and the role of DevHub, as I see it, is to uh, provide the scaling uh, solutions to the ecosystem. Uh, there are a few already uh, running successfully. Uh, platform Developers Fellowship Program, I'll dive a little bit into it uh, uh, later. There is Hackbox that we also covered during the um, um, uh, panel today, which is a template solution basically for those who want to run a hackathon. You, it's like a franchise. You basically uh, open the documentation, see how to get started, and it's, it, it's it, it should be as easy as like following a recipe from the internet. Um, you, you need to be very comfortable in the kitchen, you know? But uh, if you want just to have a, a, a good guidance of how to run a good event, uh, maybe check out the Hackbox. Uh, decentralized developer uh, relationship uh, relations uh, program is also a new, uh, just fresh new launched uh, thing that helps to build local communities that are uh, facilitating um, workshops, education, and like just uh, local local presence of near ecosystem in all over the world. So this is about like scale. Um, the specifically about the uh, fellowship program. I want to start with some hard stats. So, oh, well, 
first of all, what, what, what is it? Uh, what, what, what do I mean by near platform to begin with? Near platform is the uh, near core, is a blockchain, there's dev tools and, to, and documentation that are like uh, combi uh, in combination are representing the, the whole near op open stack experience that all developers need to have in order to be productive. And uh, since June 2023, we just launched this program this summer, basically. We had uh, three leaders who led 20, 20 plus uh, fellowship uh, contributors on the, through the Dev Hub or even like just uh, as, you know, out kind of, kind of not necessarily um, reporting through the Dev Hub, but they were helping people through the hub uh, facilities to, to onboard those folks, um, contribute to 20 projects, cut 12 releases, and commit and create uh, over a half a thousand uh, commits, meaning like feature commits, not just like uh, small ones. And uh, all in all, it, it was uh, the total budget for this whole program was 50K. It is growing nowadays. And I see it, it is scaling uh, tremendously. But I just wanted to shout out to all these awesome folks. Uh, not all of them uh, I put on the slide. It just like I, I selected randomly, more or less. Uh, but they contributed a lot to, to push and to, to make these things happen. So we finally ca uh, created, uh, like released Borsch 1.0. It's a big deal because, uh, like, the first release, the first table release that we can count on, and that like we not gonna break any, not gonna introduce any breaking changes. That that is a very good signal to the community that how stable it is. That was a, like a blocker for the role, like for the next uh, releases. So near workspaces rest, near CLI rest, um, and near sandbox rest, for example, they still didn't reach the 1.0 release, but they are on a good track to really stabilize now. With uh, like we we cut very good solid um, 0 0.9, 0 0.7 releases, and I think they will be coming next to to our day-to-day -day life. Uh, the specific uh, ones that I want to, they are small, but I want to c call out them, is uh, near account ID arrest, uh, token, uh, near token arrest, near gas arrest. They're very small utility, uh, but they are used everywhere. And this is, this is cool to have them as a foundation, basically, and that they will make the code much more um, reliable. Uh, so those, those pieces are, there is a lot, and they, they all, uh, come together even in a in a bigger like initiative. They whole like tool set of tools. So SDK, so uh, near SDK, REST, near SDK JS, which are the um, dev tools for the contract developers on near. They are getting a lot more uh, stability, stability and uh, um, f stable foundation. Uh, and this is we. They are really on track finally to 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 have a very solid next release. So for example, near SDK RS will reach 5.0 release, uh, hopefully by the end of this uh, month, uh, with all the changes that we uh, baked into it. Uh, so well, I wanted to uh, also provide some call to actions here uh, of like how to join the forces and where you can find the relevant resources. So first of all, uh, near ecosystem is all open and welcoming. So you can um, just go on GitHub and find all like good first issues if you are like really into just see what's going on there. Very easy. Uh, search for a label good first issues. There are plenty of them, and yeah, start 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 tinkering. And then also you can uh, really uh, go to DevHub and find the uh, fellowship program and all the details about it uh, on DevHub. And if you are deep technical and you have near experience and you are willing to um, onboard other developers, please join the fellowship uh, program to, to contribute, to, to guide them, to be a buddy for them. Uh, it's currently focusing on near platform, as I described it. Uh, if you are new to near, but you still have a pretty good uh, technical background, 
uh, find the leaders that are applied for uh, for to be the buddy and join and talk to them, reach out to them, ask for for guidance, and uh, yeah, that's another way uh, to join and to help. Um, and that's basically all you need to know about uh, how to join the forces, how to be very productive, and hopefully make the ecosystem even better place for all of us um, developers, I mean, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, check out the, uh, the new re relaunched website. Uh, the landing page on near DevHub has been uh, launched last Friday, and I hope it will tell you a much better story about like what, why Nier is so cool, why DevHub is so cool, and why we should help it to be even better. That's all. Thanks, everybody. Um, see you at DevHub.